All right, Compromands, uh, we're looking at lesson 21 in your workbooks, uh, which is focusing on Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. Pause the video here, go grab your Bible, and uh, open up to Luke 5, and we'll read together. All right, Luke chapter 5, verse 1 through 11. On one occasion, while the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he was standing near the lake of Gennesaret, which is another name for uh, the Sea of Galilee. And he saw two boats by the lake, but the fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. Getting into one of these boats, which was Simon's, he asked him to put out a little, a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people from the boat. And when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep and let your, your let down your nets for a catch. And Simon answered, Master, we've toiled all night and took nothing, but at your word I will let down the nets. And when they had done this, they enclosed a large number of fish, and their nets were breaking. They signaled to the partners in the other boats to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats, so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down on, uh, at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. And when they had brought their boats to land, they left everything and followed him. You know, um, these guys were fishermen, Peter, uh, uh, James, John. Uh, they knew what it took to, to catch fish. They knew where to cast their nets. When Jesus is, is teaching uh, from the boats and as, as he finds uh, uh, Simon and uh, James and John at the time, they've already done the work of the day. They're taking the time to, to clean their nets and mend them and put them away. And that was no small task. It wasn't just like throwing your fishing pole in the back of, the, of the, the van or the car and driving home. These guys had to make sure that everything was just so. So it was a pretty in, in, involved process. Well, as they're out with Jesus, uh, he says to them, go and throw your nets out again. Now, these guys have worked all night. They have just put away all their gear and spent the time to do that. And um, they could have said, well, no, I think we're done for today, Jesus. Simon, in faith, says to, to Jesus, at your word, I'll do it. And so he throws his net in, and they catch so many fish uh, that when they're pulling them in, the boats are starting to fill with water. Now, you've probably caught a fish once or twice in your life on a fishing pole. The fish is not so big that when you throw it in the bottom of the boat that your boat's going to start sinking, right? I mean, these are big nets. These require more people than just one person to pull it in. And there's so many fish that it's just the, the boat is starting to sink with the weight of all the fish. And as they're pulling them over the side, it's filling with water. They get back to the shore with uh, with their catch, and they leave everything. They leave their catch, they leave their boats, they leave their nets, they leave what they had known for so long, and at Jesus' invitation, they follow uh, they follow him. Did you notice too what what Simon says when when uh, when they pull all the fish in? He says, um, depart from me, from I, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Simon recognized that there was something very different about Jesus. Um, he wasn't just a fisherman who know where to cast the net. Uh, Simon recognized by faith that Jesus is Lord, that he is God. And he later on makes that confession that he is the Christ. It's pretty, uh, uh, pretty telling that when Simon uh, sees Jesus, 
and that uh, he, he by faith perceives that Jesus is God, the first thing he says is, depart from me, for I am a sinful person. You know, the holy God um, really should have nothing to do with sinners like us. Um, we should expect nothing but, but, but fear and, and, and punishment for our sin. But look at how gracious Jesus is. He says, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. I will make you become fishers of men. I have given you a new life a new vocation, a new calling. Jesus does that for you and I as well. Though we should expect nothing but, but uh, punishment for our sin, the Lord Jesus says, Fear not, for I have forgiven you all of your sin as I shed my blood for you on the cross. Now your life is forgiven and changed, and you have a new vocation as well. That is being a child of God, a follower, or a disciple of, of Jesus. One who is uh, not only to do the things that, you know, were, that are required of us in our day-to-day -day, uh, activities or vocations, like being a student, but, but we're called now to also be um, and to live by faith in Christ Jesus and follow after him to share that good news of, of his salvation uh, in our households, um, here in our congregation, and even beyond. So as you, uh, as you read, as you work through Lesson 21, uh, based on uh, Jesus and the miraculous catch of fish, I pray that you would be encouraged um, that, that his call for you uh, is, is similar to Peter and James and John. That is, that you would be followers or disciples of Jesus, already begun in your baptism, and that you would remain as disciples till the day he comes again in glory. Well, blessings, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again next week.